Yeah, Formula One. I know it's strange this year, but the Monaco Grand Prix one week before the Indy 500 and the Coca-Cola 600. This year's Monaco Grand Prix had a very dramatic moment that changed the race about seven minutes before the start. Charles Leclerc, the hometown favorite, also the pole setter, did not start due to a mechanical issue with the gearbox. And an interesting fact, Charles Leclerc in his short Formula One career has never finished his home Grand Prix. Should Ferrari have just taken the five spot grid penalty, change out the gearbox instead of taking the risk that ended up biting them in the rear end? <sighs> Kobe, I I don't even know what to say. I, I really don't. Um Ferrari have they had such a bad year last year, and they finally go out and have a good race weekend. They're fast in practice. Leclerc takes pole in his home race in Monaco, but he crashes out as Q3 comes to an end. So if you're Ferrari, you have two options here. You can Except reality, except the fact that Leclerc's gearbox is probably not 100% anymore, take the five-place grid penalty and trust that your hometown hero has the capability to work some strategy into the race and maybe come back and salvage a podium and have it still be a feel-good moment for the team. Instead, Ferrari decided to risk it, let Leclerc keep his pole position, and then on the formation or not even, not even the formation lap coming out to coming out to the grid. Uh, Leclerc's gearbox um, turns out uh, there's a problem there and Ferrari looked like a complete embarrassment. I feel so bad for Charles Leclerc and I'm, I, I don't know what needs to happen. Something needs to happen in Marinello. I don't know if everybody except the drivers needs to be fired. There needs to be a complete overhaul, but I don't understand what happened with Ferrari at all. It makes absolutely no sense to me. There was absolutely nothing to gain and everything to lose. It should have been clear that it was at the very best, a, a major, major risk to take. And it ruined Charles Leclerc's home race on a weekend where uh, he, he had a shot at the best Monaco race of his career, which wouldn't have been that hard to do considering he'd never even finished a race there. All the feel good moments that could have come out of this for Ferrari in an era where they've been struggling to keep up with Mercedes and Red Bull, totally thrown away. I have to agree with you, Ben. Absolutely threw it away. And I feel it was a risk. Yeah, you could have, some people are calling it a risk, but I just felt like it was not at all the smart move to do. When he hit that wall, change the gearbox. Yes, you'll be starting five positions back, but you're going to gain points. Okay, he could use pit strategy to go up. We saw drivers use pit strategy to move up. For Ferrari team, they had the great car this weekend. And I felt they did a move where I could understand if this was something like Williams. Okay, they got the pole somehow. Russell, George Russell's on the pole somehow. He did this. We're going to risk it because we know we got to go back. But this is Ferrari. You got to get the points. You're in a big battle for constructor points. I just felt like this was really, they should have not risked this. They should have just simply gone with the new gearbox. I just still remember how shocked I was this morning when to see Charles Leclerc not start. I just thought this could have easily been prevented and should have never really happened. And really, there has to be a lot of questions about what is Ferrari doing. To be honest, Joe, I don't even think Ferrari knows what this doing. It's it's just a really, really, really unfortunate for Charles Leclerc. An another Monaco Grand Prix has passed and still has not finished his home Grand Prix. I'm sure Charles Leclerc is wondering what does it take for me to finish my home Grand Prix, and and, and you know how how we always talk about is this going to be Marco Andretti's year to win the Indianapolis 500? If, if Charles, I know we're still a few years into Charles Leclerc's Formula One career, but if this bad luck keeps happening at the Monaco Grand Prix. Five, six, seven years from now, are we going to be set, are we going to be sending every year in the Monaco Grand Prix? Is it finally going to be Charles Leclerc year to win this race? It just seems like there's there's like some kryptonite or something in the water and on the streets of Monte Carlo. 